Hi guys, Katie Knight here. I'm at Revo in Boulder, Colorado. Um, I'm here today with Dr. Nick. We're getting some tests done. I will get my RMR and my VO2 max test done and she's gonna tell you more about it. So Katie's giving the resting metabolic rate test or the RMR test to help with nutrition planning around her workouts and to help with body composition. And then she's gonna use her fitness test or the VO2 max test to see how fit she is. Yeah, we'll find out. <laughs> and uh, use the heart rate training zones to help with her CrossFit workouts and use them for her ultra running events that are coming up. <laughs> okay, so as I was mentioning, your test starts with a three minute warm up. Your three minute warm up speed's gonna be 3.6 miles an hour. Okay. So uh, you'll be there for three minutes. After that three minutes, I will be increasing your speed by 0.6 miles an hour every minute until you are done. Okay. There's no beating the test. This test is designed to <laughs> make you fail. Um, but we're gonna go as long as you're able to. Okay. Typically, um, including the warm up, the test is somewhere around like 12 to 15 minutes. Okay. Um, you, you don't have to do anything. I will be increasing the speed for you. I'll okay. let you know 15 seconds before the next speed increment increase, I'll say in 15 seconds, I'm increasing your speed to 4.2. It's going to be very methodical on my end. And then I hold that for a minute. And then you hold it for a minute before I increase again. You don't, and then as far as when to stop, you don't have to make it through a full increment. You can stop whenever. Okay. When you're ready to stop, the best way to do it is to hold on to the sides of the tread, straddle the tread, and I'll press the stop button. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Or do it now before I come around. And then we can make micro adjustments. Okay, that's better. Okay. Locked and loaded. All right. <laughs> Sweet. Okay, I'm gonna need to tighten it. I can always adjust the top ones too. Okay. I'm just gonna put my hands in my pockets. Don't touch it. So we definitely want this tight because once you're going, you're going and we can't adjust this. So if you were to like move your head around, does it feel like it's going anywhere? If you were to get sweaty, would it go anywhere? I don't think so. No? Feels no. tight? Pretty dang tight. Okay. Pretty strapped in there. You you are. You are. Can you, yeah. You're good to like put this part? Yeah, I guess so. Oh. Okay. I mean, do I have an option? <laughs> No, it should be just super tight. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. So uh, I'm going to take your mic off you. We're going to start here. So go ahead and stand on the tread. Again, once I start the test, no talking. You can skew oh, okay. results. But if anything is an emergency, like we can always okay. stop, we can always stop this and do it again. Okay. Um, any questions before we go? Okay. All right. So. I'm gonna start this and then I'll get you into your walking warm up. Okay, starting the tread. We're going to 3.6 miles an hour. And we'll be here for three minutes. Here we go. Halfway through this walking warm up. seconds I'm bumping you up to six.
She, yeah, so what we want to see on the graph is a nice plateau so from here. She plateaued here, so that's her like at her VO2 max. So that's how we know we found her true max. She, she definitely knows how to push. We'll get results in the next minute. And rolling. All right, Katie, you got in the top 1% for your uh, age and gender. How are you feeling? I feel pretty good. I feel like I could have worked a little bit harder. I'm excited to come retest this in, you know, six months or so and see if I can improve by, you know, taking this data, putting it into my training, and then um, coming and doing this again. Awesome. Uh, and then we have all your heart rate training zones here. Oh, cool. So your zone two uh, training zone is between 111 and 135 BPM. And then your zone three, 135 through 146 BPM. Zone four, which you're saying that you're pretty much working in a ton with yep, CrossFit yep. and comfortable working in. It's a pretty big range, so that makes sense if you're training in it a lot. It's 146 to 162, and then max would be over 162. So like that zone five is Which is why I really need to work in getting to that heart rate and then working in that for a while. So that's really good data to know yeah. um, that I do have to get past 162 to actually be training my zone five. Yeah, exactly. Cool. Cool. And then the rest of the sheet just kind of goes over more of a breakdown of what factors help determine VO2 max, um, what VO2 max is, different kinds of ways to improve your VO2 max. So it's awesome that you do a lot of strength training. Strength training can help increase our VO2 oh, max. Okay. Um, as far as implementing different kinds of aerobic training or anaerobic training into your program, uh, the biggest recommendation is pick the zone work mm -hmm. or the intensity work that you haven't been doing mm -hmm. and do it for like six weeks. So mm -hmm. if you've been doing a lot of zone four and we need a different stimulus, mm -hmm. then you would be doing more like zone five short periods of sprints um, for about six weeks. Then you'll adapt to that stimulus and you want to then change the stimulus again, maybe back to more zone four, okay. or you can also integrate in more zone two, which can mm -hmm. help us increase mm -hmm. our VO2 max. So okay. there's lots of different options to fit into your Kill. training plan. So overall, is my body able to utilize oxygen very well okay very well that's all i was like I was, and at hard intensities yeah <laughs> so good good i yeah. was researching that last night and i was like oh i wonder if it actually can use oxygen because i don't know yeah like without knowing like doing this test or this data like i like feel like i can if i feel good in a workout but like knowing it actually can kind of gives me more confidence that like okay I, hey i can spend more time in zone five i can you know improve improve how my body functions so yeah, yeah. good job Yay, did it, did it. I didn't die. Didn't die, didn't die. <laughs> yeah, so come check it out, guys. Get testing done. I promise it's not that scary. It's not that hard. Um, and then you have the data that you can use, whether you compete, um, you can use that for your training cycles. Um, and even if you don't, it's just good base knowledge, especially your RMR um, for diet, nutrition, and things like that. So come check them out um, and come work with Dr. Nick. She's great. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>